these two lines these two lines call higher LDO and lower LDO in this line you get 2.0 volt right or 1.2 volt lower 0.8 volt low voltage today we talk about what is primary line and what is secondary line right also what is the difference between them if any line shorted how do we check it in last video we, un we understand how VPH line works what is VPH line VPH line works if you have any doubts on VPH or any question comment the previous video I will explain to you right now back to the topic primary and secondary in front of you there is a diagram please look at the circuit or diagram carefully because I would like to tell you about some lines so after that you can understand the difference between primary and secondary line easily this is V bus line or you can say charging line from charging connector to DC to DC IC in this line we have OVP IC first line first this line goes to the OVP IC after the DC to DC IC or you can say charging IC right in this line you get 5 volt right now after the V bus DC to DC IC made VPH and this VPH line going to the power IC also some other sections like network light LCD Bluetooth Wi-Fi audio right this VPH line goes to the many sections right in this line you will get 3.7 to 4.2 volt right after this in line goes to the DC to DC IC to battery connector this line called VBAT voltage battery line in this line you also get same 3.7 to 4.2 volt of battery voltage right now when VPH goes to the power IC after the power IC create puck lines for the CPU some voltages for EMC or RAM IC in between RAM some voltages for RAM or MMC IC also the LDO for each and every IC in mobile like in network section you have 4 GPA 2 GPA 3 GPA sorry 2 GPA 3G or 4G are the same power amplifier WTR SDR in right now 5 GPA in light section light light IC graphic IC audio IC Bluetooth IC phone touch each and every section or IC runs on a LDO voltage power IC create LDO voltages I'm giving you some information or you can say little bit information about buck lines or LDO lines in this video full information or you can see deeply information about how buck generates how buck line works what is the difference between buck line and boost line how LDO creates how LDO works each and every with solution I'm giving you all details in upcoming videos right but in right now I'm giving you little bit information in this video so going to the next slide first in this slide you can see there is a power IC or CPU also some line going to the power IC to the CPU when VPH is coming to the power IC right these lines all are buck lines through power IC to CPU or activate the activation the CPU in this line you get 0.8 volt low voltage line buck lines also you can see here two lines goes to the power IC and coming back to the power IC to switching these two lines these two lines call higher LDO and lower LDO in this line you get 2.0 volt right or 1.2 volt lower LDO and higher LDO right after this line goes back to the power IC power IC creates LDO through this line or you can say LDO voltages like 1.0 LDO 1.2 volt LDO 2.0 1.8 3.0 2.6 there are many LDOs created by power IC they they going are these all LDOs are going to the each and every section or each and every IC in camera section primary camera also secondary camera LCD IC light IC WTR IC 4 GPA Bluetooth P audio every IC needs LDO voltage to enable the IC so this is, is some information about buck lines and LDO lines how these line works now back to the topic primary line and secondary line before going to the topic 
I am giving you little bit information about buck line and LDO line because these lines are not related to the topic. Still, I am giving you, I am trying to give you detail about these lines. All these lines are not related to the topic. I mean buck line and LDO lines. Still, I am trying to give you detail about these lines, right? So that you can understand the upcoming video or upcoming topic easily, right? That's why I am repeating each and every line again and again so that you don't forget the line or voltages. Back to the topic, see some people have, so see people have two type of opinions in primary and secondary line. Some people says VBAT line is a primary line. All lines after the DC to DC IC are secondary line, Hello. right? Like VPH line is second, LDO lines are secondary. Just VBAT and VBUS line is primary. Another people say is before the power IC, all lines are primary line. After the power IC, all lines are secondary line. Like VPH is according to them primary line, VBAT is primary and VPUS is primary, LDOs are secondary line. You don't get confused about them. We will understand with the DC machine or multimeter in an easy way, which is primary and which is secondary line. There is a DC machine, a motherboard, also a multimeter, right? According to the DC machine, suppose a phone come to you on a short condition. A phone come to you on a short condition. When you connect the boot cable, it takes auto ampere. Now, what is auto ampere? Auto ampere means if you set DC machine on 4 volt, 5 ampere, when you connect the port cable, it's consume automatically ampere after the connecting without pressing the on off button. When you connect the phone, if it takes automatic ampere consume without pressing the on off button, it means the phone is short. Second case, when you connect the port cable, it takes no auto ampere, right? But when you press the on off switch reading, or you can say ampere goes to the 40, 50, 60 milliamp after release the on off button, it goes back to the zero zero. Means when you press the button, phone boot goes to the 40, 50, 60, after that back to the zero, releasing the on off button. That means booting not properly. It means this phone is mostly in half shot. But in first case, it's a clear shot, clear shot, it means easy to remove the shot because shorting in VBAT, VPH and VBUS line according to the DC to DC machine is primary line because VPH is always voltage. When VPH is short, DC to DC machine takes auto ampere. But in second case, if you don't have a thermal camera, it's not easy that case one to remove the shot two or three methods when you're applying this you can remove the half shot but in first case it's clear shorting easy to remove but in second case if you don't have a thermal camera it's not easy to remove the shorting because shorting in LDO so in some cases the power IC short there are some methods to remove the shorting or find the shorting in LDO lines I will explain in some other video. According to the DC to DC, I see VPUS, VPH and VBUT line is primary line. LDO lines are secondary line. Now let's talk with the multimeter. Now in this slide, you can see there is a motherboard, also a meter. A phone come to you. When you check the battery connector on a reverse bias, battery connector on a reverse bias, black on positive and red on ground, the reading is 357 on reverse bias. When you check the forward bias, it's 1000 or 1000 plus. That's meant on a battery connector, it's a normal. But when you check the VPH, right, on a reverse bias, 400. On forward bias, 600. It means half shot. Can you tell me? Why this happened when VPH is short, it's not coming to the battery connector according to the multimeter. 
because the DC to DC IC. This IC is does not allow the shorting to one side to one side come to the other side. According to the according to the multimeter, if you check the battery connector in a reverse bias, black on a positive, red on a ground. Suppose a phone come to you, we check on a diode mode on a battery connector, three fifty seven, on a reverse bias, on a forward bias, it show thousand or thousand plus. It means according to the multimeter, there is no short normal range, right? But when you check the VPH line, it shows 400 or reverse bias on forward bias 600. It means half short. Can you tell me why the shorting not coming to the battery connector? The answer is because of the DC to DC IC. DC to DC IC does not allow shorting to one side to the another side. If shorting in VPH, it's not allowed the shorting to the battery connector according to the multimeter because multimeter working on a diode mode in a phone repairing line multimeter used in a cool testing or DC machine used in a hot testing that's why DC machine apply current on a circuit that's why it find short easily but in some cases you can see there is a half shot right 300 or 600 when VPH is full shot it's depend on the DC to DC IC quality so that's why every tool is important when you diagnose the phone every tool is own value suppose in shorting case DC power machine is important tool but when a line open then a multimeter help you a lot same with a DSO in a frequency if you had if your phone had a frequency problem DSO is helpful against all other tools so every tools are important in our line diagnose the problem depend on the fault now a last slide after this your all doubts clear in this slide you can see here there is IC right audio light graphic any IC right this IC need VPH voltage to run right also a voltage line 1.8 volt and come from power IC with a pull up resistor or this also attach with the CPU it means master IC CPU control the control this IC or a 1.8 voltage come from power IC right suppose this IC is audio IC when consumer play the songs first master enable the IC when this IC generate output because VPH is always available voltage so in this IC VPH is always available but this IC does not work when master release this voltage I am explaining to you VPH is always voltage when you check this in capacitor VPH is always available this 1.8 volt comes when consumer play the song right after the a signal goes to the master to the slave IC after the this IC generate output after the song play in your phone right so in this circuit you can easily VPH is our primary line these are secondary line because this is always voltage hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel